Hello there, Swadi. Let's have a look. Technology has brought a lot of benefits to people's life. Yet, problems with an over-reliance have evolved over, year, over the last few years. And just put a reference in there. Also, is there a better way we can say a lot of? Okay. Has brought considerable benefits. Has brought numerous benefits. Has brought a vast array of benefits. Okay. This is just improving. Um, not correcting. So, on the right track. Also, I like the fact that you've used the yet in there, so that's genius. Good start. Fairly believe that the advantages of advanced technology outweigh its drawbacks. Good. This essay will discuss both sides of the arguments. Both sides. We don't need to say of arguments because of both sides of the argument using examples from the UK government and known websites to demonstrate points and support arguments. Genius. On the one hand, on one hand as well is good. On one hand, the recent technological development has merited the intellectual ability of the individuals. I don't really get this. That is because this is because by welcoming the digital world, the human beings, human beings have become more open to the globe, and they can access all the up-to-date information and inventions easily through the internet. Okay, I still don't really get where we're going. Okay, um, a simpler argument would have been easier to communicate, less chance of grammatical mistakes, and easier to follow and easier to read. For instance, up to date Medscape and even YouTube are very popular websites, comma, millions of people that, oh no, websites that millions of people are using every day. To explore new knowledge okay furthermore replacing human labor in some jobs by machines shifting the world interest to a more sophisticated subject such as improving the quality of products planning and international marketing therefore if technology is implemented in most daily aspects it might promote the life in general so okay um i think this argument would have been easier and probably better to develop one argument, um, this one, it seems a little bit simpler because I don't really get this one. Okay, um, so let's see. Anyway, let's just have a look at the question. Paragraph one, should technology adapt to us? I, don't, can, I can't see how this is adapting. Maybe if you'd have made it clear that humans that adapt to um, modern changes Okay, so let's see. Firstly, stu um, humans or humans or workers, maybe let's just say workers because it's a bit more specific. Workers who adapt to technology gain lots of benefits. Um, this is because they can stay up to date. For instance, um, Medscape um, often improves medical doctors' exam scores by over 20%. Therefore, technology improves. Um, therefore, we should adapt to technology. Okay, that's all we needed. Something simple like that. And it would have made your life a lot, lot easier. Let's see. Also, I wanted the corrected essays, Swadi. Okay, uh, well done for doing the, what do you call it, um, error list. That's good. But I wanted to see the corrected essays. Okay. Let's carry on. On the other hand, others would argue that depending on technology is a major issue. So, is technology making us intellectually weaker or, intel or more intelligent? I hope we're going to talk about that. On the other hand, um, others would argue that depending on technology is a major issue communities are facing nowadays. Good. The reason is that it is easier. No. The reason is Okay, the reason is that it is easier now for many educators to use their smart devices in order to do a simple calculation. If you say the reason, it's like the reason. Um, but if you say one of the reasons, it's one of many. And that makes much more sense. Moreover, even if people know the correct spelling of particular words, most of them rely on autocorrection in their gadgets. One word, gadgets. Consequently, 
new generations may become lazy and spend no effort to use their brains. Okay. For example, recent studies by the UK government showed that 60% of school students are using their smartphones in math classes. Thus, if people continue to have faith in technology, this might lead to serious implications. Okay, so we have pulled it round, and that's good. Let's just do a word count. I'm pretty certain you're over. Way over 340 words. Okay, so the next essay you send me, I want you to go through it and check that there's um, that it's 250, 260, and delete sentences that are going to push you over the limit and are not necessary because you only need to really argue one point, okay? So be careful of these extra sentences you're adding, okay? Follow the sentence guide. Let's have a look. Um, the bar chart illustrates the prediction of the main visited city. No. The bar chart illustrates the predictions of three of three cities visited by um, by three countries. Okay, so sorry. Bar chart illustrates the prediction of visits of city visits by three countries: Mexico, Canada, and the USA. No capital T. By twenty eighteen. First point to note in this chat is that fewer Canadians will visit Madrid than Mexicans and, Amer and Americans. That is nearly what I got. I don't really understand this. This is way, way too long, and we can't write like this. The first point to note, okay, in this chat. Let's just start with less Canadians will visit Madrid than Mexicans, if that's true, okay. But this needs to be completely rewritten. In fact, sorry. What I would recommend is doing a lot of look, cover, write. So you get a task one essay, one written by a native English speaker, look at it, look at the first sentence, cover it and write it from memory and then compare it, okay? Because you need to get these structures down because this is going to be a real challenge, okay? Writing long sentences like that. And well done for using the structure though overall, so that's good. Another figure which stands out in this graph is that by 2018, as many tourists from Mexico are expected to visit Istanbul as London, which is 20,000 for both. Good. Okay, good sentence. In addition, the highest number of, of visitors to Paris is expected to be from the USA, that is 100,000, comma whereas nearly half of this number will be from Canada and the least from Mexico. Genius! Good work! Much shorter sentence, much easier to follow. Uh, so that's the style we want, okay? Final detail which can be observed from the graph is that considerably more visitors are anticipated to go to Istanbul. Or yeah, okay, that's fine actually. Right? From Canada, there's around 70,000 or 60,000 from the USA and far away from Mexico. Okay, good. Overall, the highest amount of tourists are expected to be to Paris from America, Istanbul from Canada and Madrid from Mexico. Genius. Good work. Good work. Let's try and use the respectively sentence in the next one. Okay. Um, and for this one, go for shorter sentences, which will improve your clarity much more. Okay. And try and reduce these sentences. So the final detail, which can be observed from the graph. The first point to note in this chat, that's not necessary. We can just start with um, Canadians are expected to visit Madrid the least, followed by Paris and London, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we can start with the actual subject here and it makes it a lot easier. Okay, but we're also well done for using the comparisons. So, still some work to do, Swaddy. Send in the corrected work, okay? Send me the updated error list and also send me your two new essays and send them all together in one email please okay let's keep on improving and all the best also check out the articles I've sent you regarding um, article usage close test and um, sex and genitive no I didn't include increase include sex and genitive have a look at those and just review some of the grammar rules okay all the best